is Megan with Burton Electric, and welcome to the world of electric motor repair and rewinding. Today, we will be going through the armature winding and rewinding process. Here at Burton Electric, we wind all types of rotors, armatures, stators, coils, and more for all types of motors, tools, and machines. Over the years, we have rewound hundreds of thousands of armatures and other windings for customers all over the country and beyond. Let me take you on a tour and show you what's involved when you send us your armature to be rewound. Armatures and rotors are the rotating part of an electric motor. Armatures eventually go out for a number of reasons like extra heavy duty loads placed on the motor, voltage drops or high amp voltage spikes, overheating, insulation breakdowns, unfriendly environments, or just plain years and years of running and running. The most important part of rewinding a motor, or in this case an armature, is to reverse engineer it. This has to be done to figure out how the armature was originally wound from the factory. Sorry, but much of this information is top secret and I can't share it with you. Once the winding data has been obtained, all of the windings are stripped off the armature and it is re-insulated and prepared for winding. The coils are then wound on the armature, either by machine or by hand, depending on the winding of the size of the armature. This Lincoln SA300 armature has rectangular wire and has to have its coils form wound, then placed in the body of the armature by hand. Here at Arton Electric, we wind armatures and stators with both round and rectangular wire sizes, from tiny round wire, which is about the size of a strand of hair, or heavy rectangular, like Frank is winding here. After the armature has been wound and the wires have been connected, it's time to solder, fuse, braze, or weld the wire leads to the commutator. Once the wires have been connected to the commutator, it's time for varnishing the windings. Some windings require dipping them into a varnish tank, and some require a vacuum impregnation for the best possible varnish penetration. Then it's off to the oven for hours of baking. Next, Ramon is going to turn the commutator in the lathe, which will return the armature back to its original new condition, within one thousandth of an inch out of round. After the armature has been undercut, the commutator has to be polished to a smooth surface and then back to testing to double check our work. After it's been polished, it's back to the testing equipment to double check everything, including the commutator for out of roundness. Balancing is next. Reducing vibration is very important in the motor's running performance. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm Megan from Burton Electric, signing out.